The man's a damn angel. Guardian angel. Keep going, Dawes. Keep going. What is with you guys for Keep the Form? We're back in the with yet another movie reaction. You guys, they were watching Hacksaw Ridge from 2016. Another war drama, another World War II war drama, and kind of a recent one compared to the ones I've been watching. And and starring the one and only Andrew Garfield, aka the amazing Spider-Man. I'm actually really excited to see him. He's actually a really great actor. I've seen him outside of the Spider-Man franchise um, in a movie I can't quite remember right now. Um, but he's very talented. He's able to put on very convincing accents, um, which makes me excited to see what kind of role he plays in this one. I feel like I've seen a lot of great World War II war dramas so far. Um, so the bar's pretty high at this point in time, but we'll see what Hacksaw Ridge is all about. Guys, before we get into it, hit the like and subscribe button for your boy. Definitely don't forget to check out the Patreon where I'll have a full length reaction of this movie and many others. And without further ado, let's do what it do. Is. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Hang on! Hang on, gentlemen! We're gonna get you out of here! Want a hand? I got it. What are they fighting about? Now, when they ever need a reason. Well, Tom, do why stop him? Save me whipping them both. This way, I just whip the one that wins. <laughs> hey, that, I mean that's that's some logic right there. No! Oh, okay, foul play. Okay, so I guess we figured out who's gonna get the whipping now. Come on, man. What would possess you to pick up a damn brick on your brother? There it comes. You know what happens next after you hear that belt buckle sound? Saved by the mama. I was gonna be okay. Murder, it's the worst sin of all. And to take another man's life, that is the most egregious sin in the world, son. Why does he hate us so much? Oh, he don't hate us. He hates himself. Mm. Sometimes. Your daddy denied that ain't the real him. Just talk. Damn. I'll phone an ambulance. That will happen. Joshua, pick up. Quick. Okay. I guess this is the time before carjacks. Or at least reliable ones. Yes, sir. Nice work. You might have saved this boy's life. You staying with us? He knows a thing or two about injuries. Do your thing, Desmond. Army physicals that way. This is forgiving blood. Where do you give your heart? Okay, that was corny. <laughs> I'm just here to take blood. I'll give you mine. Okay. Met someone yesterday. Nurse over at the hospital. Her name's Dorothy Shooty. I'm gonna marry her. Goodness, <laughs> does she know that? Well, not yet. I'm just about to. <laughs> you ever even spoken to a woman? I mean, one that's not family. Spoke to her. Come on, Dad. Don't be a hater. And all it costs with a couple of pints of blood. There's a metaphor in that somewhere. Oh, jeez. Ever since you stubbed me with that needle, my heart's been beating real fast. <laughs> Every time I think about you, it beats faster still. There it is. There's there the metaphor. It's pretty corny. It is. Uh, she likes it. <laughs> well, that's a shame. I, I don't practice that all night. I think you need to practice your boy girl dating talk at home before you come out. <laughs> yeah, probably do. <laughs> no. You're just beautiful. My man is just going to stare at her the entire movie, huh? I don't blame him, but. Oh! Where you go? Yeah, oh. 
<laughs> okay. Hats off to that, man. Hats off to th Oh! Never mind. He's back in. Back in. Oh! Damn it, Desmond. <laughs> Boy's giving me more anxiety, and I'm not even on the damn date. Remember him? Don't talk. What? I'm not just saying how snappy Artie looked in his uniform. I just hope that when our Hal gets shot, it's through the front of his jacket. Oh, no. Like a simple entry wound. Not much mess. Artie got hit in the back. It blew most of his guts and intestines out his front. Awful everywhere. Damn, man. Her dad going through it. I help you, but it's going to cost you. What? A kiss. <laughs> this man learns that fast. That is pure blackmail. Well, yes, ma'am, it is, but that is still my condition. <laughs> you ain't going to slap me, are you? <laughs> I'll fall off. I'm going to take you with me. Kiss me and find out. I'd take that risk. The risk is worth it. Desmond is out here living with the love of his life. What? You know something's gonna I go wrong missed. now. There it is. I can't stay here while all them go fight for me. Yes, you can. Dorothy, you can stay here. I have to. So are you gonna ask me to marry you or what? Damn, that moved fast. I don't know. You still gonna have me? What? With all my heart and then some. You marry me? Then yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> I guess it's now or never, huh? Those two, man. Those two are too much for me. I couldn't do otherwise, Pop. Everybody else is, is doing great. Everybody else. You know, whatever beliefs you have in your crazy head now, they won't ever play out. It don't work that way. And if by some, I don't know, miracle chance you survive, you won't be giving no thanks to God. Aww. And love is too pure. I can't take it. Oh, God, I hope nothing happens to either of them, man. Uh, I hope nothing happens to either of them. Whoa. 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 Every time I walk to my bed. Gaze upon it in envy, my friend. You okay there? Definitely not necessary. Look lost. Hey, uh, Bruce Nolan out of Red Hook. Where you from? Virginia. Well, hillbilly, huh? You marry your first cousin? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. There's some characters in here already. Good book, right? I, I think, uh, I think Lucky's got a good book, right, Lucky? It's a good read. <laughs> the other good book. The other good book. Vince Vaughn is in here? <laughs> Why the hell is he naked? Let me see your Indian war cry, son! I, I don't... Ah! Let me see it! Ah! What is your animal spirit? I have seen stocks of corn with better physiques. Makes me want to pull an air off, Private. Can you carry your weight? Yes, Sergeant. It should be easy for you, then. Corporal, Sergeant. make sure you keep this man away from strong winds. Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> now move your privates, private party. <laughs> move it! You son of an exhibitionist! Oh my you. god, I'm why? Not. Why did Vince Vaughn have to be the drill sergeant? Out of everybody. If he was my drill sergeant, I'd be in trouble. I'd be in some damn trouble. What do we got here, Doss? One for each titty. <laughs> You were tying a bowline, boy, not building a bra. What is so funny, Corporal? Couldn't tell you, Sergeant. I bet you're enjoying this, you naked degenerate. <laughs> Let's go, hustle. hustle. He's really, hustle. he's really gonna make him do this whole thing naked. Let's go. Get your asses across that Come on, Desmond. Come on, Desmond. Nice work, Doss. Your concubine, perhaps the only thing in life you'll ever truly love. Fellas, let's dance. I was I was told I don't have to carry a weapon. Come again, step forward, Private. I can't be here in this right. Well, I'm sorry, Sergeant. I can't touch a gun. 
Uh oh. You have any other requirements of the United States Army? Is there anything else that we can do to ensure that you have a comfortable stay here with us? <laughs> he doesn't want to work on Saturday, sir. Well, Saturdays, I'm a Seventh day Adventist, so. <laughs> I'm putting you in for a Section 8 psychiatric discharge. Psychiatric. Gentlemen! I want you to meet Private Desmond Dobbs. Yeah, I had a feeling they were going to compromise on that. It is what we men fight for. To defend our rights and to protect our women and children. Even if Private Doss's beliefs might cause women and children to die. Okay. The solution to this whole thing is not to turn this whole company against him. Huh. Whoa. Oh, oh, I knew it was going to get there. I knew it was going to come here. Turn the other cheek, don't it? Right there. Hit me, Doss. Go on. Better hope he doesn't find a brick. Please give it back, Smitty. Don't push him. This ain't over. This is far from over. All right. Was it was it God who told you not to pick up a rifle? God says not to kill. But he's a legitimate, conscientious objector. He must be allowed to work as a combat medic, provided he qualifies in all other areas of his training. Perhaps we could help make even his idea. See, I knew it. Yeah, you restrict him to barracks and KP. They're gonna try to make this a living hell for him now. Watch. Come on, man. That's how it always starts. Try to sleep in. Why the hell are you still here? They're the real cowards. It's okay, Doss. There's no shame in this. No, but you should all be. Well, I never said I was attacked, so I... Well, what the hell are you saying, Doss? You bruised half your body sleeping. I, I sleep pretty hard. <laughs> you can't break him. You can't break Dawes. I, I put in for this furlough three weeks ago. I'm getting married this afternoon. It says you're not rightful qualified. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, I'm not required to carry a rifle, sir. But Colonel, Colonel Stelzer, he, well, he... Colonel Stelzer's determination was... Refuse. And I will have no recourse but to court-martial you. And you will spend the duration of the war in a military prison. You guys are... This is insane. I can, sir. They will use every single loophole. Every single thing at their disposal. Shame of the man for his damn beliefs. But I also feel that my values are under attack. And I don't know why. Exactly. I don't give a rat's they ass are. about your principles because the Japs don't. If I can't convince you, maybe she can. Wow. They wouldn't let me call you. Like I said, they are using I'm everything. <laughs> How did they even find her? But I can't do that. Yes, you can. It's just pride. Pride and stubbornness. Don't confuse your will with the Lord's. I don't know how I'm going to live with myself if I don't stay true to what I believe. I will love you no matter what. It's past his love for her, man. It's his principle. It's a man's principle. He's not going to break it. Damn. Didn't know all that happened. Yes, sir, but I changed my mind. Just like that. You wish to proceed to a court martial. Yes, sir. Hmm. Why is it so important to you, given your refusal to even touch a weapon to serve in a combat unit? Because when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, I took it personal. While everybody else is taking life, I'm going to be saving it. 
With the world so set on tearing itself apart, it doesn't seem like such a bad thing to me to want to put a little bit of it back together. I take it you are the private's foe? I am, sir. Thomas Doss. Then, as a former military man, you know there are laws here. Sir, I know the law, and I know my son is protected by those laws. They're framed in our Constitution. I withdraw the charges, sir. Then this case is dismissed. Finally! Private Doss, you are free to run into the hellfire of battle without a single weapon to protect yourself. You better, Desmond. You damn sure better. These are the guys we're replacing. Imagine that, man. Seeing trucks full of dead bodies. And the first thing they say is, that's who you're replacing. You're up. Herb Schechter. The jabs deliberately target the wounded. Lose all your Red Cross markings. Nips put a premium on shooting medics. The whites of bullseye. Damn. Nobody can survive that shit. Oh, but they can. They're making this sound like Mission Impossible, man. This can has worked a little too well. Oh my god. Oh my god. I couldn't do it. I couldn't look at the ground when I'm walking like this. Yeah, don't look down. Absolutely not. Oh! 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 What's he doing? Oh my god! Oh! What? Everything's happening so damn quick. Gonna hear about that later. Oh. As a medic, where do you even start? Like, where do you even start out here? One second you have legs, next second you don't. That's some outrageous ass shit. Oh, oh! Can't see us yeah, you'd hope so. That's a dangerous game to play. Sanity, man. There's just no break, man. There's just relentless. It's relentless fire. Oh, he got him. Damn. Insane. Find yourself a nice that was home, absolutely insane. Rotate watch every two hours. I know how they made that look so convincing. I also didn't know there's also a scene in a World War II movie that rivaled the opening scene 
to save you Private Ryan. And there absolutely is. I can't say which one is better at this point in time, but this definitely is up there. Rivals it, absolutely. In peace, sons bury their fathers. In war, fathers bury their sons. Should we find Holland again? Sound good to me. Put your helmet on. That's one heck of a dame. You know you're fighting out of your weight class with her, don't you? <laughs> Who's gonna take her? You? She'd be much happier with a man like me anyway. See, yeah, I know it. Got to know you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm an asshole sometimes. 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 <laughs> we're, we're all on the same wavelength here. Oh my god. Oh. As morbid as seeing dead bodies are, seeing them get devoured by rats has got to be a new level of sick. What the hell is that? Oh! No! It gotta be a dream. Oh my god. Don't do that. Oh my god, don't do that to me. Any sane man would be screaming for a weapon. Well, I never claimed to be sane. My daddy used to beat me and my brother just because the sun rose and then whip us just because it set. <laughs> That's enough, no more! No! Do you hear me? Pull it to the trigger! Stop it, stop! <laughs> so that's when I made my promise to God I ain't never gonna touch a gun again. No! Already! We're already back in it! I see what they were talking about now. They don't stop. It's endless. Oh! Oh no. That's a sergeant. They really are sacrificing themselves. Straight kamikaze. Honestly, how do you even win against an enemy like that? Oh, no, no, no. Let's go help the paint. Not him, too. Come on, come on. No, don't. Oh. Damn. Come on, Dawes. You gotta move. Come on. Yeah, what are you doing, Dawes? What are you doing? Help, help me. Watch out. One, two, three, move. It's okay, but you all have to get it. Coming back with something like that, man. They got somebody, man. He's really gonna save somebody. <laughs> Yo, Doss is really saving people. Doss is really getting live ones, man. It's over. Come on, Doss. Don't let that be you, man. Don't let that be you. That is horrifying. What if they try to stab the bodies? <sighs> Too damn close. 
It's too damn close. Oh my god, that was too damn close. Oh my god, I'm like, damn rats! Oh! God, they're everywhere! <laughs> Be cool, man. Morphe. That's good. Only DOS, man. Only damn DOS. There you go. Try now, try now. <laughs> I thought he was blind. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you guys gotta get a move on. Come on. Damn, man. How many bodies did he save already? You got it, Dawes. <laughs> like the most inspirational story ever. Keep going, Dawes. Keep going. This man's a damn angel. It's like a damn angel right now. Guardian angel. Some nuts up there dragging wounded from the top. Even lowered a couple of Japs. Get in here. There's nips everywhere. Uh, son of a bitch. Private corn stock. You're nothing if not full of surprises. Damn. Oh, Sergeant's man. still here? Yes. Get out of here. I'm coming back. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we know you're coming back. That's one damn thing you can trust. It's when Daw says he's gonna come back for you. Our guys have been coming down in droves all night. And Hollywood's here. I never thought I'd see that guy again. Come on, follow me. He's right here. It always comes down to a sniper, man. At the end of the day, it's always some sniper. And a good one. Yes! Got him, we got him. Oh, snap! <laughs> no way! Come on, Dots, push it! Dawes, get your ass down there too. Come on. Yes, yes, cover him. He is in complete shock, man. Are you wounded? What he just had to go through for that duration of time. What he accomplished. Imagine how many different people's blood is on him right now. You've done more than any other man could have done in the service of his country. Now, I've never been more wrong about someone in my life. I hope one day you can forgive me. It takes a big man to apologize like that. A good man. And what you did on that really just nothing short of a miracle. And they want a piece of it. Private Doss is praying for you. Who the hell is Private Doss? Sometimes it takes witnessing a real miracle to start believing. I think that's exactly what just happened here. They really made art out of these damn scenes. There it is. <laughs> Dawes! No way! Damn. You going home? That's crazy, man. Even in World War II, they still carried that same practice. Desmond's turn to be rescued. It's 
75, 75 wounded men to safety. Damn. I just kept praying, Lord, please let me get one more. Even though I said those things to him in regard to carrying a rifle, then and, and he would never be my by my damn side at all unless he had a rifle. But then uh, in the long run, finding out that he was one of the bravest persons alive. And when that blood was washed from his eyes, his eyes came up, man, he just lit up. And if I hadn't got anything more to war than that smile he gave me, I'd have been well repaid. Just saw in the credits that it said, directed by Mel Gibson. And after watching this, I don't think you would have had to tell me. <laughs> you would have at least made my guesses of top three directors who may have directed this movie. Probably starting with number one. War movies with that just raw feeling of heroism and patriotism is something that I think only he can emulate. I haven't even fully come down on the high of this movie to really formulate all my thoughts, but just wow. Another World War II movie based on a true story. And that just goes to show you just how many stories of heroism like this are out there based on this time. Stories told and untold, recorded, unrecorded, that we'll probably never really know. But the story of Desmond Hollis was definitely a new one for me. Um, and the actor that got to portray him, Andrew Garfield, um, don't think they could have got a more perfect person to play that role. Guy was flat out amazing. Um, he continues to blow me away with every movie I see him in. Definitely an actor that I feel like doesn't get talked about nearly enough. Um, a guy with some infinite potential right there. Vince Vaughn as well. Another unexpected actor in this that definitely impressed me with his acting. And that's kind of the thing with Vince Vaughn. You never know what you're going to get with him. Like he does comedy and serious roles both pretty decently well. Um, this one, he completely leaned into a very serious role. He was able to sneak in some funny lines uh, near the beginning of the movie, but you still had to carry massive respect for the character that he played. The story and overall plot of the movie and theme was very interesting to me because kind of how they suckered you in at first with making you feel like it was going to be more of a love story, romance kind of movie. And then midway into the movie, they kind of put a little switcheroo and made it more of a story about a man and his principle, his religion, his patriotism even, um, his love for his country, his countrymen, and serving that. A beautiful story, a beautiful story with beautiful cinematography. Um, I was getting into an explanation about just how beautiful some of the scenes, especially the war scenes, were shot. And even though it does sound kind of weird to say how beautiful the movie made killing a bunch of people looked, um, but they did it in a very artistic style um, that I've yet to see in a war movie before. Those battle scenes is not something that's easily going to leave my mind. Um, they were shocking. They were gritty. Um, everything was on point. The color grading looked great. The camera angles, the use of slow motion. Um, they took very great care of those scenes. And after watching that, I can still say it does rival the opening scene of Saving Private Ryan, which, quite honestly, I didn't think anything could get grittier than that. I found it real interesting the use of jump scares in some of those scenes, which I never faulted them for because it's an interesting take on it. You would imagine in that scenario you would face a lot of jump scares or, you know, just some very sudden unexpectations. I definitely found that to be an interesting way for them to draw you into that scene, into that scenario, into that feeling of helplessness. I mean there's more details I can go on about but all in all this has to be one of the best World War II movies out there. One of the best pieces of World War II content out there hands down. Mel Gibson definitely put his foot in this one and I'm glad that we're still getting real talent, some new talent too behind some of these uh, new World War II projects because like I said before man there's so much stories out there that I was unaware of that I'm sure there's so much more to tell so many more interesting ways to tell it but guys thank you for joining me on my reaction to Hacksaw Ridge leave me your thoughts in the movie in the comment section below like this video subscribe and catch you in the next one peace
lay it on thick or give you just a smidgen a little devil do you all you have to do is listen music be the movement everybody on a mission Black. Black.